I will never recommend. I'm not gonna stand. I'm not gonna spend my whole day making ice. But I hate the ice maker. It's nasty. I think one of the most controversial statements that has to do with RV living is that I stinking hate my ice maker. I mean, I freaking hate that thing. I love ice, but I hate the ice maker. So first of all, do you have an ice maker? And if you do, do you love it or do you hate it? Comment below and let me know. I want to know because everyone always says how they love their ice maker and it was the best purchase ever and yada, yada, yada. So I feel like I'm alone in this. So let me just kind of tell you how this all went down. The first thing we tried was basic ice trays and the little bin that you stick inside your freezer. Hate it. But that took up way too much room in that tiny little freezer and the ice trays stuck together. And when we would put the ice in the bin, all that stuck together and we'd have a brick of ice and that just, that's not going to work. The second thing we tried was just to buy bags of ice. And since we have the deep freeze, we would just stick the bag of ice in there. And you know, that was okay. I mean, we had ice when we wanted ice, but again, same thing. The ice would kind of stick together, especially on a hot day. We bought ice and brought it back to the camper, even if it was ice that was available at the RV park. We buy the ice, we get it into the camper and it was already melting. So then you stick it in the freezer and it all sticks together. And then you have a block of ice and having to like chip away at it is just stupid. And plus the bag is just annoying. It's just annoying to have a bag in your freezer. So those two things were not working. And that's when I decided that I was gonna go ahead and get an ice maker. And I, I initially I would have gotten one right away but they are not cheap. They're freaking expensive. I mean, even the cheapest one's like a hundred bucks. And I didn't necessarily want to get the cheapest one because you know, you get what you pay for. So I wanted to try some other things first that might be more affordable. And if they were going to work, then great. You know, then I'd save myself a hundred or more dollars. <laughs> one million dollars. At first, the ice maker was kind of amazing. I mean, I think it was only a few days though. And I realized <laughs> that I might not like this thing. The ice just never really froze solid enough. I mean, we put it in our drink, you pour the drink over and it's melted. It waters down your drink, completely defeats the purpose. So, and, and then it wouldn't even really make the drink cold. I also noticed that we just could not, it could not keep up with my family who loves ice. We got four people who use ice in their drinks all the time, whether it's water or a seltzer or whatever it is, we like ice. Oh, our water bottles. We would always fill our water bottles when we go somewhere so it stays nice and cold when we're hiking or whatever. And it just could not keep up. We even tried just making a big batch and then putting it in a bag um, and putting it in the freezer in like a Ziploc bag. But again, that didn't work. That It would stick together and it just was the same thing over and over. It took up way too much space on my counter. It was loud. Even when it, as it was making the ice, it was like something running all the time, like <laughs> And it was just annoying. The ice dropping in the thing didn't bother me. I kind of liked that sound actually, but just the, the constant sound of something running was kind of annoying. And then every time we would move to a new location, it was like it had to, to start all over. And so we'd have like, four batches of ice that just had to be thrown out. And I think it took like eight minutes to make six or eight minutes to make one batch of ice. Did I mention that these things are expensive? I paid $130 for mine. I don't want to wait for ice. I want ice now. I don't have time to be waiting. My family doesn't have time to be waiting for ice. We want the ice now. I'm not going to stand. I'm not going to spend my whole day making ice. If I use my ice maker to spend a whole day making ice and save it up, I still wouldn't have enough ice to get through one day with my family. So the last thing about the ice maker, which was the worst part, and it was the deal breaker for me, is that it was filthy. It would get so dirty and it, big deal. It gets dirty. You clean it, right? No, 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 no. You cannot freaking clean this thing. There's all these little nooks and crannies. They say to do this little solution of put vinegar and mixture of vinegar and water. Okay. You can do that and it seems like it cleans pretty well, but it doesn't because when you take it apart, you'll see it's nasty. It's like the lids that are on 
sippy cups, baby sippy cups or coffee cups. You don't take that ring out and clean. No, nasty. So let me just show you, you know, you, you open it up, it looks clean and you know, whatever, but then you pull the basket out and that's where the nasty is. And this is actually fairly clean. This was only a week ago that I had cleaned this. So it looks pretty clean. It had been way worse than this. Um, I don't know why this gets so dirty, but you see back there in that tray, that's where the ice drops in and then drops down into the basket. All those little things, I used a toothbrush. I could not figure out how to get this thing clean. And I always used filtered water, bottled water. I never just put water straight from the tap because I know you're going around to all these different RV parks. You don't know what that water's like. So I always used fresh water and it still, it would get so dirty. It would get like this brown kind of mildew buildup and almost like a fish tank. Just so disgusting. If you've ever had a fish tank, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But it would be like this brown, just slimy buildup. It would get all the way in the tube and you can't clean the tube. There's no way to like take it apart. I, I cannot ever, I will never recommend that any RVer or anybody <laughs> for any reason get one of those expensive <laughs> things. They're a total waste of money. They don't work. So I did find a solution that I am very happy with. It's working very well for me and my family. We bought some nice ice trays that have a lid that slides across the top and then they can stack on top of each other so the, the ice trays don't freeze together. I can't tell you where I got these ones because I stopped shopping there. But I will leave some links to some uh, comparable ice trays that I found on Amazon and Walmart.com. So we did have these trays in the small fridge freezer, but this just works much better for us because Cammie can even do it all by herself. And pro tip, if you run cold water on the back of the ice tray, it helps the ice release super easy. I mean, it just slides right out of there. You don't even have to turn the tray to crack it. If you like seltzer, by the way, this is a new flavor from Polar Mango Lemonade. It is so good. Oh, and Dr. Berg says it's really good for you too, so. So we always make sure to put the tray that we just filled on the bottom of these trays. That way, whenever someone wants ice, it's always there and ready. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week.